as you can see, a lot of sparks, but how many hit the roof? The roof's at 2.4 meters from the ground. And how many hit that back wall? That's about five and a half meters from where I'm cutting. Uh, yeah, it didn't seem like that many to me, but let's go on to the angle grinder now. So I'd say the angle grinder went further. Some of them probably went about six meters horizontally. But as you can see, that pattern of cutting, where it's the way we cut, it just doesn't go very high at all. So it's just unlikely that it's gonna really go up onto someone's roof if you're cutting at a ground level. Now, I did find a way of making sparks go higher but the point of this is that we never use this method to cut. It is a method where you bend over and you have the angle grinder running that way and the sparks actually come up and try to hit you in the eyes. So we'll have a test of that and you can see they do go pretty high, but we didn't use that cutting method. So that was me trying to get sparks to go as high as I possibly could by angling it and really pressing into it. But it just, as you can see from the lower end of the sparks, the higher end of the sparks aren't going much higher than that. I'd say at most they're going to about 2.6 meters high before the ballistic trajectory moves back down. And as I mentioned, we were never cutting, say, a panel on the ground up against us facing up and if we were the sparks has come and hit into us so it's absolute it just can't happen it can't happen that you're ang grinding or drop soaring on the ground and the sparks climb 2.7 meters as a minimum to get onto someone's roof but certainly not there's no way the sparks are climbing like 10 meters horizontally and 5 meters vertically to get up onto someone's roof. It's just not gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna cut some cool room panel now. This is polystyrene cool room panel. This is show how far the sparks go. And uh, there's only one way we cut this, which is it's flat on the ground. We cut along it, drawing it towards us. Easiest way. Like, yeah, it just makes it much easier. We never angle it up or we very rarely angle it down. It's just, and we mostly, we did basically all our cutting at ground level. So not here in the undercroft, there's some cutting in the undercroft, but mostly up there at ground level. So we're gonna see how far horizontally, how far vertically the sparks go. Now remember, the end of this long panel here is four meters. The roof height here is 2.4 meters. And uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. So this is the way we cut.
So you can see there that, yeah, the spark probably went about, at most, four and a half metres horizontally in that one direction. And I'd say the highest a spark went was maybe about two metres, 2.2 metres. Remember, the roof's 2.4. How far, how high up did you see a spark go? So, uh, yeah, from what I've seen, I just don't think it's possible to get a spark from cutting panel or tube, like the circular stuff, to go like 2.7 metres high onto the lowest part of my neighbour's uh, roof. It's just not going to happen. And there's just no way at all that any of this cutting at ground level is going to go up 5 metres high and 10 metres across to like get everywhere else. It was obviously the installation of their roof, not our activities here, that you know caused the very minor blemishes that they have when you look really close at their roof. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So from the location of the actual cutting, we have distance measurements horizontally of two meters, three meters, and four meters at the end there. That is from the cutting area to there is four meters.